So what does it mean to be an engineer? I thought I would cover that in my, in my, uh, my time up here. And first of all, we love that Venn diagrams. I just proved it. I, I love Venn diagrams. And I figured out, people always ask me, how did you go from engineer to comedian? And Venn diagram is the um, best way to explain how I went from engineer to comedian. <laughs> it is, because here's what happened. I'm in high school, right? I'm good at two things. I'm good at, I have math skills and I'm good at problem solving. And when you're good at those two things, no guidance counselor says, you should be a comedian. <laughs> that doesn't happen. They said, you should be an engineer. So I went and became an engineer. If you got people skills and you're good at problem solving, you probably go into management, right? You're good with people. You should go into management. Now, over here, if you got OCD, everything has to be exactly right. <laughs> and you have math skills, uh, you're an accountant is what you are. <laughs> right. You can't solve any problems, but you can identify them. Yeah. <laughs> right? That's what accountants do. That's, that's what they do. Every accountant I married, go, oh, you got to fix this. You are screwed. <laughs> don't, they don't solve any problems. Over here, if you're into drinking and you have people skills, well, join our sales force. <laughs> Welcome aboard. Look at you guys. Apparently VP and uh, executive vice president of the sales. Over here, if you're uh, heartless and you got OCD, uh, you're in human resources. <laughs> What, we have human resources people here? Calm down. And if you're heartless and into drinking, uh, you're a lawyer. That's how that works. And if you're all of these things, then you are a comedian. That's how that works. So, best Venn diagram you'll see. Hey there, folks, and welcome to today's episode of Comedy in Place, the comedy show that comes to you from my office right here in my home in Southern California. I am your host, Don McMillan. I hope you're doing well today. I hope you enjoyed that opening clip. That is a bit I've been actually doing for quite a while, the uh, career Venn diagram. But apparently, uh, just in the last couple of months, it's gone viral. I'm hearing it from people all over the country, in Florida, Tennessee, Washington, D.C., Minnesota, everywhere. Uh, people are seeing this video, and it's being sent to them in the email. And it's not my video. I mean, I'm in the video, but it's not my video that they're being sent. And I realized I'm not even in charge of my own promotion, so I, I better post my own video on my own uh, website so people know that it's me. But anyway, that's why I shared that with you today. And also, to say thank you to John Venn, the inventor of the Venn diagram, by the way, because without that, that bit would be nothing, obviously. It would just it wouldn't, it would be kind of colorful, but it wouldn't be very funny. And today's episode is all about uh, John Venn and Venn diagrams. And I have a clip coming up at the Comedy Magic Club later, which goes a little more in depth into that exact uh, career Venn diagram bit. So stick around for that at the end of the show in front of a live studio audience. But let's get to today's Comedy in Place bit, which is all about John Venn, the guy that, you know, I it just, I would be lost without Mr. John Venn. So I thought today I would do a little, a little tribute to the guy who helped me with my act many years ago. John Venn was a mathematician uh, who worked in the late 19th century, worked at Cambridge University working on a set theory, probability, that kind of thing. And he used diagrams. He, he, he realized he could use diagrams to describe how, you know, sets overlap and such. And hence, you know, in those days when you came up with a great idea, they named it after you. So the Venn diagram was born. That's when you hear a Venn diagram, that guy right there, Mr. John Venn, is the guy you are talking about. Now, if you don't know what a Venn diagram is, and, and there might be some fans out there that don't, I thought I would use, because John Venn would appreciate this, a Venn diagram to explain Venn diagrams. I thought that was kind of appropriate. So here, there's three sets when explaining Venn diagrams. There's circles, uh, multiple colors, and things that overlap, right? Now, let's start at the top there. Circles and multiple colors, I think of traffic lights, right? You have the red, green, yellow. That's it. Circles, multiple colors. Uh, if you have circles uh, that are overlapping, that's like the Olympic rings. Those are overlapping circles, right? Now, if you have multiple colors and they're overlapping, a stained glass, right? Where they overlap, it's a different color, right? And only when you have all three of those things, circles, multiple colors, and overlapping are Venn diagrams. That's how they're unique. So I hope you enjoyed that. A Venn diagram to explain Venn diagrams. How cool is that? So let's get back to John Venn, because he was an amazing guy, and he was born August 4th, 1834. Now, I stopped to think about this for a second, and I thought to pay tribute to John Venn, I would use Venn diagrams again in a way that John Venn would appreciate it. So let's look at this. He was born August 4th, 1834. So there's two sets here. There's the set of people who are 185 years old, and the set of people who are still alive. And that set is what we call the null set. Nobody is alive who was born in 1834. And that's why John Venn is not with us. Described in Venn diagram format. I think John Venn would love that. I think, if you didn't get that, by the way, 
Don't feel bad. Here's probably why you didn't get it. Who gets that Venn joke right here? Oh, well, there's people who understand Venn diagrams. And then there's the set of people who have a sense of humor. And the overlap of those two sets are people who get my act. So hopefully you got that joke and you're in that middle section right there. So there's a Venn diagram to describe the Venn diagram joke about John Venn. It's on so many levels. I'm getting a headache just thinking about it. So I hope you enjoyed that. Now let's get to the live end of the show, filmed in front of a live studio audience at the Comedy and Magic Club. I'm going to go back to my uh, one shot right here. This next clip actually happened. Sometimes when I do the career Venn diagram bit, I'll hit a nerve. There'll be a group in the audience that I, that I might not even be aware of, and they'll react in a way to that bit. And well, you'll see. This is, uh, unbeknownst to me, a large group was in the crowd who really took exception to one of the bits in the career Venn diagram with the following reaction. So stick around. Keep laughing. I hope you enjoyed today's show. Here comes your video. I'll see you next time. If you have, a, you have a personality and you're good at problem solving, you're probably moving into management. Right? That's what they want in management. Now over here, if you're anal retentive and you have math skills, uh, you're an accountant. Is what you're <laughs> is there some huge accounting group here? I had no idea. I didn't mean accountants. I meant uh, enrolled actuaries. That's what I meant. The only people accountants pick on. Enrolled actuaries, they're boring. What's the accounting group? Will you tell me? What is it? Beta Alpha Psi? Is that like the accounting uh, uh, honor society? Wow. That is more emotion out of a group of accountants than has ever existed. That's almost like the balance sheet balanced. It all adds up. The debits equal the credits. <sighs> you guys aren't unlike engineers, can I just tell you that? 